Hey, what is up everyone? My name is the Asian Slick Slayer over on Twitch, but today here on YouTube, I am James the Stream Tinkerer. <laughs> today we're going to talk about how to set up the Mix It Up bot. If you're in a rush, if you want to get in and out, there's going to be a timestamp below. Feel free to use that at your leisure. Stop on by again when you have some time and watch the rest of the video. Everyone else, let's dive in to the Mixed Up bot. So the reason I use the Mixed Up bot, it's just this third party app that is extremely, extremely feature rich. It just has a lot of things you can customize, a lot of things you can do with your stream. It can increase the interactivity using channel points with your community. It's pretty awesome and I, and I love it. I really do love that bot. I wish I could take it to every streaming platform out there. Maybe they'll be like that. I don't know. We'll see. Let's begin the setup process. Go ahead, go to mixitupapp.com, click the download, go ahead and install it on your computer. I have it ready to go on mine. I did a fresh install. I deleted all my user settings, so I'm going through it with you guys as well. I'm going to log in. Whatever Twitch account your browser's logged into, I believe it's going to log into that account. So if you're on like a test channel or whatever, you may want to switch out off of that. This is a really great example of the cool things you can do with the Mix It Up bot. You can create a shout out that not only drops a chat message, but plays a sound. You can wait, show an image. It's, it's really awesome on how la layered these commands can get. And, that, and that's just why I love it. You can set up a backup rate so you can back up your settings. I highly suggest doing this, set your location, all that cool stuff. They also have a Discord, really helpful in there, really helpful in there. Now, if you have your stream software, go ahead and open it, get it ready to go. We're gonna work with that. So here's the chat area. You got your users in this area, which I'm gonna go ahead and hide. You have your, your main chat. This dashboard is really cool because you can set various items and then you have a window with chat alerts and whatever, right? You can customize how this looks. Clear chat and then disable chat. Really, really, you know, cool there, right? Right on top. Upper left-hand corner, the three lines. That's all the meat potatoes of, of this bot where you can, you know, go in and, and just customize commands or whatever you want to do. Settings over here. Familiarize yourself with these settings. Some of these you won't understand just yet. Like, for example, the commands. Like, these are all the commands, all the things you could do within a command. So when you select create a command, it'll give you these options of like what you want the command to be. So don't worry. All this does is just hide things. If you don't see a certain thing, come over to settings. Make sure it's not hidden. Make sure it's not hidden. Colors, awesome stuff like that. You know, your default streaming software, your audio output. Like I have virtual cables and voice meter banana and stuff. So I want to make sure that this stuff is set up the way I, I have it, which on my streaming computer, it is on my gaming PC. I don't need to worry about that too much. You guys familiarize yourself with this, get it ready to go. First thing we're going to do is set up the services. Go to the three lines in the left hand corner there. Scroll down to services. Click on the overlay tab. Now this will create a browser source that Mix It Up can interact with. The way we do that is just click on that. Copy pasta. Go over to your streaming software, add browser source, right? We'll name it Mix It Up Base or mix it up one. We'll just name it mixed up one. The reason I like to have a numerical order because when I create a new command where it makes sense to make a new separate browser source, maybe I have like a green screen filter on there or something like that. It just keeps nice and organized. All right, in the URL, copy pasta that overlay, uh, that browser source. And then I make my width and height 1920 by 1080. Clear out the custom CSS. Boom. There we go. Go ahead and click connect. Test your connection. Look at that. It's showing up on there. It's good to go. Good to go. 
And then what we could do is for it to auto refresh, uh, you just name it, mix it up one. Mix it up one. All right. And then whatever streaming software you use, you can actually connect to that as well. And that why, that's why it was important in my OBS Studio tutorial, you can click that link up there. I said, let's install the plug, the WebSocket plugin because it's gonna use that to connect to your OBS. And this will allow it to uh, change things. Maybe you have a moderator. That's really, really awesome. Really awesome. Navy, Navy Darkstar, shout out to you. You're an awesome mod. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll make this command for you, but say you're on the wrong screen, right? And you're in your, and he's like, hey, you're on the wrong screen. What's going on? Hey, hey, you're on the wrong screen. Well, if you're not noticing what he's saying, he can actually change your screen for you with this uh, WebSocket interaction. Test the connection. We're connected. These other services here, go ahead and go through, connect what you want to connect. These will utilize alerts that the bot can, can send over your stream and, and various other commands and, and customizations that are within this bot that we may get into later on. I don't know. Just let me know what you're curious about and we'll get into it. The reason I'm making an OBS setup video and a mixed up setup video, very basic, very short videos, is because the next video we're gonna dive into is going to add voice mod and channel points and use um, the mixed up bot to create this layer of interactivity that will one, change my voice, and two, let uh, users use channel points. Viewers use channel points. So that's all I have for this video. It is really, really short. Like I said, we are gonna dive into a really long video, a really complicated video. If you're interested in um, using channel points to interact with your stream, to change your voice, hit that subscription button, hit the notifications, hit like, comment below. Let me know if this video helped you. Give me some tips on how I can make this, these tutorials better. Uh, I'm new to this all. I'm just a humble stream tinkerer. I just get asked these questions of how do I do this? How do I do that? And I figure why not make a video that I can send people over to? Uh, you know, my, my script is very, very basic. So maybe I should get into more detail. That way I don't go off the cuff and, and, and say um a lot. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video helps you. Um, if it does, you know, just let me know below that you want to keep hearing more of these videos, seeing me more of these videos. Uh, my information is below. You can find me on Twitch. You can find me on the internet, Discord, all that stuff. Links in the uh, description below, as well as if you want to get cool merch. Hey, there it is too. Links in the in the description. We sell mouse pads. Um, we sell shirts, cool stuff like that. So as always, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your time. Hope this helps and keep on tinkering out there.